Thank you for the support of channel member Mile. Quickly before the video begins, I'd like to let you guys know that you can now become a member on the HMAS channel. If you want to know how to get videos like this a day early, as well as many other benefits, please consider checking the first link in the description. Now on with the video. Four facts for every Pokemon Elite Four. So like, one fact for every Elite Four member. Straight to the Kanto region now, and from Lorelei's mouth, we learned that she caught a Lapras in the Icefall Cave, which is part of the Sevi Islands. The interesting thing here is that Lapras only has a 1% chance to be encountered here while surfing, making it an extremely rare find. Does she not know a guy gives you one for free in Sylphco? On to our second member, Bruno. Now he might be the only Elite Four that survives between Generation 1 and 2, but that doesn't mean he's good at his job. In fact, his Pokemon are actually weaker in Gold and Silver than they are in Red and Blue. So much for special training. Want to know what Agatha and Morbius have in common? 1. They both appear in Peak Fiction. 2. They're both vampires. Yeah, Agatha in the manga is a vampire who can transform into a Golbat whenever she wants. Pretty cooked. Many know Lance for his red hair, hacked Pokemon, and war crimes in the manga. But did you know Lance originally had purple hair? Lance's normal red hair is first revealed in Pokemon Yellow. But in the Pokemon Monopoly, there is a card that depicts him with an odd shade of lavender. Luckily though, the Monopoly man did not get his way in the end. In the spin-off game, Pokemon Masters, Elite Four member Will is sick of being mistaken as a member of the evil Team Break due to the wearing similar masks. Maybe he wants to leave his old ways behind, as in the manga, Will actually started off as a villain who wielded the Lugia of all Pokemon. Did you know Koga has the scummiest Pokemon team of all time? In his second battle in Pokemon Stadium 2, his team has four Pokemon that know Confuse Ray, five Pokemon that know Toxic, and six Pokemon that know Double Team. This guy was evasion spamming before we even got minimized. Do you know how evil you have to be to do that? You know Karen for one thing and one thing only. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. That is only the selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with their favorites. And I believe if this quote was not uttered into the universe, we would have far less toxic people on Pokemon Showdown than we do today. From one dark type expert to another, Sydney's quote in the trainer's eye states that he believes offense is the best defense. And his team certainly reflects that, as all of his Pokemon in the original battle have their attack as their highest stat. Which is quite ironic considering in Generation 3, dark type attacks all use the special attacking stats when calculating damage. Phoebe is unique in various ways, one being that she is the only Ghost type Elite Four to never use a Gengar in any of her battles. Ace Roller would have fit this too, but she just had to catch and use a Gengar in the anime. In fact, Gengar is so common on teams that she would have been the only Ghost Specialist in the entire series to not use a Gengar, but then Rhyme and her fire bars materialized out of nowhere. We all know Glacier as the CEO of Seals, or should I say, the Sealio. But did you know she's also the CEO of Contact? Lenses? In Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, her eyes are brown. But in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, she shifted over to blue eyes for that icy aesthetic. Time for Drake. Now this guy might be worse than Bruno at training his Pokemon. In the Hoenn anime, Drake uses a shell gun to wipe the floor with ash. Pretty standard stuff. But then in Pokemon Journeys, Drake makes a reappearance. And as shell gun is still a shell gun 17 years later. It takes 15 levels for shell gun to evolve into Salamence, which means that this guy receives less than one level of EXP per year. From poorly trained Pokemon to just poor Pokemon, in the anime, Aaron's Drapion ends up getting knocked out by Jesse Surviper. This was the snake's first win in over 300 episodes, so make of that what you will. Bertha is a pretty plain Elite Four member, all things considered, except for the fact she might be related to a vampire. Because in Legends Arceus we meet the character Charm, who bears a striking resemblance to both Bertha and Agatha. And to make things more confusing, she uses both a Gengar and a Rhydon, which are both trainers aces. In Pokemon Platinum, Volkner reveals that Flint uses fire types because of his 
his name. I mean, it makes sense, right? I can't imagine being named Bugsy at birth and then becoming a dragon type specialist. But then why does he use a Steelix? Isn't it obvious? Flint plus steel makes fire. Now, when you speak to Lucian before you challenge him, he states he just finished a book moments before you entered the room. Convenient timing? Maybe not, as it is revealed in the manga that Lucian has a supernatural reading speed, being able to complete whole books in a matter of seconds. Some things age worse over time than others, such as this quote, but so is Grimsley's team, as he is now the only Elite Four that uses an unevolved Pokemon as his ace. Guess he is too busy gambling to take a trip to Paldea. In Pokemon Platinum's Battle Frontier, Darak fights in place of Caitlyn. This is because, at the time, Caitlyn's psychic powers were unstable, and she would end up blowing stuff up if she lost the battle. Talk about a sore loser. Elon Musk has said that he is working on the development of Catgirls, but it turns out Pokemon is ahead of him. In an interview with illustrator Yusuke Omura, he claimed that Chantal was a cat girl, not because she has ears, but because the ribbon around her neck is designed like a cat's nose and ears. In Pokemon Black and White 2, Marshall's rematch team in challenge mode uses a sheer force Conkelder with a flame orb. What exactly is challenging about that? And this is even funnier when you consider Marshall uses one with guts in his first match. Like you had it right the first time. Seabold is voiced by Sean Chiplock in Pokemon's mobile game of all time, Pokemon Masters EX. This means the chef shares the same voice as characters such as D. Luke from Genshin Impact and the great Deku Tree. Drasner is a... Uh, the least notable Elite Four member in my opinion. So there isn't many facts that I can say, but I can tell you she usually finishes near the bottom when it comes to polls on people's favourite Elite Four. Malva makes history as the first member of a villainous team to reach the rank of Elite Four, and she sucks at it. Like seriously, she spends all this time infiltrating the ranks and doesn't do anything with her power in the games. As we know, there is no Elite Four in the Galar region, but there might be a Galarian Elite Four member, because we learn in Legends Arceus that the outfit Wickstrom wears is traditional Galarian armour. Since this revelation, Wickstrom has not responded to the British allegations. Haller is of course a fighting type trainer, but surprisingly he has more than one attachment to the ice typing. For one, in Masters EX he is listed as an ice type unit, and for two, in the anime he wins the Pokemon Sled Championships, which definitely gives off Grusha vibes. Olivia runs a jewellery store in her hometown, and uses her Probo Pass to guard it, in case any robbers fancied being sniffed to death. Move over Iono, in Pokemon Sun and Moon's Japanese promotions, Ace Roller was given the title, The Idol of the Spirit World, which is weird, because I swear I from Oshinoko had that same title. In the files of Sun and Moon, there lies an unused golf course area. It's theorised that Kahili would have held a trial here for the player, instead of randomly spawning in when you entered the Elite Four. Eventually, it was cut from the games, but still appears in the anime. Don't let this tech bro Malane's looks fool you, because he might just be the strongest Elite Four of all time. With a team that includes a Spikes Klefki, another Elite Four's ace, and a Champion's ace as regular Pokemon, which are also fully EV trained. Rika has a habit of breaking the internet by literally doing anything. After Scarlet and Violet was released, she won a Japanese poll for the most popular female Pokemon character amongst women. And then recently, when her voice got revealed in the anime, it got over 16,000 retweets. Pokemon League in the Indigo Disc DLC, it is revealed that Poppy is 9 years old, meaning that she wouldn't even be able to have a Pokemon yet if she lived in Pallet Town. This is the type of potential you are holding back, Professor Oak. Speaking of years, the Pokemon Paldean Wind series showed that Larry has been a member of the Pokemon League for 25 years. 25 years working two jobs as a gym leader and Elite Four. I haven't even been alive that long. No wonder he looks like he wants to die. In the Pokemon Academy, you are able to take part in friendship quests with your teachers. Not entirely sure how that's legal, but okay. In Hassel's you learn of his past, that he ran away from his Dragon Tamer clan at a young age to pursue a music career. But none of his Pokemon know Dragon Dance, so he can't have been that good at it. Finally, onto the BB League's Elite Four. Crispin will reference if you don't put bread on top of your sandwich by saying, is that a Paldean thing? Which is a reference to a common thing done by players to make sure their ingredients 
don't go sliding off. Personally, I think he should have gone with, are you mentally okay? But that's just me. Amma Riz uses her Alolan Doug Trio, Scizor, Reuniclus, and Empoleon on her team, all caught in heavy balls. This is an interesting capture method considering Cypher, Piplup, Alolan Diglett, and Solosis aren't heavy at all. I guess there's no such thing as light balls, so shout outs to her for having good patience. It's no secret that Lacey is Clay's daughter. Her father is confirmed to be a Unova gym leader, and her ace Pokemon is an Excadrill. But have you noticed her name was also an anagram of Clay? Plus a leftover E. E for Excadrill? Or maybe Elisa? And Drayton is the only battleable person in the Blueberry Academy that can always be found in the League Club room. This may be a reference to him always wanting to battle instead of going to class. And if you're the same right now, you should maybe get back to work.